This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Mayhem Underground, formerly known as... The Midweek that's right. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on his Twitter right here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. The only Mayhemmer to have participated in a steel cage match, filming it inside the cage. And also with us, he is the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. That's right. And technically, I'm in my undisclosed location, which is not Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh, oh, I was, I was going to ask because we, we, you have your undisclosed location, which is not Poughkeepsie, New York. It's, it is not. Is it? It's Poughkeepsie adjacent. Um. Yeah, it's Poughkeepsie adjacent. You know what? I'll just say it's the Pandorica. The Pandorica. Okay. Yeah. Straight from the Pandorica. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. Are you at least still in New York? Uh, the Pandorica goes wherever the fuck it wants. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it is time to talk Lucha Underground, as we oh. do. I am fresh from watching it this morning. You watched the last night as usual. Yes. Um. I. Thankfully, I got home early enough. My DVR did not record the first showing of it, but Ooh. luckily, it repeats right after. So I'm like, DVR, you fucking record. I should really just go ahead and buy the Apple subscription. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't met this. Point. I mean, it's going to be the same because it's like the buy the rest for X amount kind of thing. Like, like I, I think I can buy the rest of the season for twenty two dollars. Oh shit, that's. I want to end up buying all but like three episodes at this point anyway. So. Uh, you- May as well just do it. Yeah, exactly. Just pull the band-aid. Pull the band-aid. Open the open the wallet. Here you just, go. Uh, just just have that money be drag on, sword. Drag gone. Man, the puns this week. Oh man. Oh God. Sorg. Did you write this episode? I, <laughs> I might have. <laughs> um Sorg. Let, let's start this thing like we always do. Uh Koalas to Palabra, Padalutra Underground. Hmm. Oops, sorry about that. Opened up on another thing. Uh, my my good for this or my word for this week. I'm sorry, I mistranslated. Uh, mm-hmm. my word for this week is invitation. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I would have also accepted if your word was like save the date. Mm. <laughs> Even though we don't well, technically like, know what it it's is. three words, but yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> uh, my word for this week uh, is religion. Religion, really? Religion, yeah. Huh. Religion. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. We'll get, we'll get I can't there. wait to find out why. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we may find out sooner rather than later. Sorg, what was your good, your uh, bueno this week? <laughs> my bueno for this week. I I don't know. I think it's my 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 good, my bad, and the thing I would change is the setup for the house match next week. What the hell is happening? Sorg, I don't know what the fuck a haunted house match is, but I can't wait to goddamn see it. Trick or treat, motherfucker! <laughs> Trick or treat, motherfucker! I oh man, Sorg, I have a feeling we're gonna see everyone that. That's tied on Lucha Underground in this hard house. Oh, right. that might be. Oh, that could be a lot of fun. Oh, my God. I swear I'm so And also, excited. is it going to be a haunted house match like what we saw in WWE? Are they going to, you know, it'd be great if they went to the same house in yeah, like, the same like site. Kentucky or wherever that, that uh, Orton and Bray hit up. Mm-hmm. So. Oh. If only and the, you see, you see like of you see like of the skin of a viper or something. Yeah, it was these things. Yeah. Hey, you never know. Um, depending, I I, I think it's eternally would never get fired. But if he did, he would be a great member of the of the uh, snake tribe. Org, do you think we see the ghost of Big Rick attacking the Mac? Yes. Like like a Jacob Marley version with like chains and shit. Like I really hope just like the skull that was Big Rick that they just decorate the entire stuff from uh, Spirit Halloween source. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Oh god, I can't fucking wait for that match. Like I wish I could fast forward a week, 
just to get to this match. You wish you were Aerostar so you can just transport yourself a week. <laughs> Seriously, I wish I was fucking Aerostar. You already know how it ends. <laughs> God, we'll get there too. <laughs> um, Jesus, I love time travel. Uh, all right, uh, Mi Bueno this week is um, the, everything surrounding the setup for the wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, because we're getting to see a lucha wedding. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be fucked. Because mm-hmm. all right, so first we have the first we have the invitation, which hopefully Antonio Cuello is invited to. Good for them. I I personally wouldn't invite my boss to my wedding, but you know, Johnny and Ty did that, so you know, good on them. Um. Uh, side note: I did ask Antonio Cuello if he needed a plus one. For the wedding on Twitter, but he said the uh, guest list was full up, unfortunately, so I will not be attending the wedding. Um, I heard they're registered at ProWrestlingTees.com, though. That's a joke. Um, but anyway... Oh, uh, I, so- I, I missed it, just like uh, Antonio this week uh, mentioned how nobody has a sense of humor around here. Antonio's the funniest, funniest guy on Lucha Underground. Yeah, and he's also the guy who's setting up a shit ton of murder. So, I mean, you know... He's really, he's, he's a good guy. But, uh, Sorg, um, we also met the officiant for the wedding. We did, at least momentarily. <laughs> um, yeah, d- did you happen to catch his name, Sorg? Uh, Father Rick, Rick, Rick O'Shea? Yes, Father Rick O'Shea. How interesting that that's, that's the name that uh, they used. It's a ve- it, I... Sorg, I don't know about you. I think I've heard that somewhere. Before. I feel like I have too. And I think on an episode that Chris Joseph was on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hmm. I think so. Yeah, that's weird. That's really strange. Know. Very odd. Oh. And coincidence. Purely coincidence. Yeah, but luckily, you know, you can officiate a service with, with one arm. <laughs> that's good. That is true. You can have somebody hold the book for you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, just every, everything like we're setting up two real big temple things. First, you got the, the haunted house next week and then the wedding, whenever that's going to be. So imagine if it's next week and they just didn't say it. I feel like, I feel like they don't do it without like, like a week of, of commercials and just, I mean, I just think that's something that they would have a lot of fun with. They wouldn't pass up, you know? Is it weird? I want. Taya to take the lucha, the other female luchadoras wedding dress shopping. Oh, jeez, if only. If only. I just want Taya, Ivelisse, and fucking Mariposa. Roll back a moment. Roll, roll, in, roll in to a wedding dress shop. Yes. Rolling back just a moment. Uh, I they did. I, I did also. Mr. Rick O'Shea. <clears throat> uh, was also a member of uh, like whatever church is in Boyle Heights. I thought that was a nice touch too. Yeah. Yes. The, the the I believe they it was just the Church of Boyle Heights. So I mean, you know, they're staying true to their roots, even though they're in LA now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. But but sort as we know, not every show is perfect. Nope. Uh, Qualis to Mullo this week for Lucha Underground. The haunted house match announcement. <laughs> I think I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Sorg. No. Sorg, there's nothing bad about no, this. No, I'm not allowed to do that. No. No, I'm just saying it's not going to be bad. It's going to be amazing. I know. I know. It was just the the amazing and the cheesiness and coming back around to it. Um, I, I know my bad is that the rabbit tribe is just getting killed off. But then my good is also that Paul London is freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. Um... I this may be a little uh, literary for people. I think Matanza has turned into Lenny from Of Mice and Men. You think? Yeah, because he's just killing rabbits. Oh, tell me about the rabbits, George. Oh, if only. tell me about that. Saltador. Mala Suerte. I, I I don't know where we're going with this. I don't care. I'm excited. Because Paul London is creepy as fuck, and he looked happy that that his rabbit brethren were going away. Yeah, this is definitely um, this is definitely Paul London hitting his stride with a new character here. Mm-hmm. 
Like he's, he's he's very villain in this. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the darkest timeline version of Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I see that. I, I think that's definitely where he's pulling inspiration. I'm mean, obviously with the uh, higher stuff and everything, but um, I want to see more. And maybe we will after he's kind of gotten rid of all the lesser guys. You know, mm-hmm. I want to see more of the you know White Rabbit and everything that we saw a glimpse of uh, at the end of one episode. Like that's too, like, that's too big just to be a thing that we just feed the matons and nothing happens. Oh, I'm I'm sure we're see. I I'm still holding my theory. That somehow all of the people that ma- that are being sacrificed to Matanza are coming back as zombies. Mm-hmm. I'm still holding true to this theory because, sort. Do you know roughly when this season of Lucha Underground ends? Uh, it was it twenty one weeks, and we're in it's, week nine. It's right around Halloween. Right around Halloween, and we're doing a haunted house match now. That's why I was doing the math. Like I felt like the haunted house match was like a little soon. I feel like something might happen in the haunted house where someone like finds a book of the dead or something. Oh, or another doll. Uh, oh God, no! We don't need another doll. We have, we already have one doll that's that has reportedly killed. Um, Oh, fuck. What's his name? What's his name? I can't think of his name. Um, uh, he teamed with um, with Ivelisse and Son of Havoc. I, um, oh, uh, Angelico? Angelico, yeah. Angelico? Yeah, I, supposedly, I, I pronounce all supposedly, the consonants. Supposedly the doll has already killed Angelico. And the doll is now saying he doesn't like, like, if Sorg, if we get a scene during the wedding where Father Ricochet and asks if anyone knows why these two should not be wed, and that doll raises its hand by itself, <laughs> I'm fucking done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> oh God! All right, uh, me Malo this week. Um, I'll say I was a little worried about this episode. Why? There, was, there was a lot of stuff going on with Killshot. Mm-hmm. It was Killshot heavy. Yeah, and it felt a little rushed. It felt a little Roman Reignsy. What? No, that he's that he wants two matches in a single in a single night. He says he's going to win both. He says he's going to be like the champion of both of them. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know that this Killshot stuff is kind of coming out of nowhere for me. Like is I it? know. I know we've been building to it, but I don't know. You feel like it's a sharp turn. Maybe it's because we don't know why Dante Fox is gone. Yeah. Like, if if Killshot had something to do with that, okay, I get it. The whole thing, you know, will come full circle for me. But, like, up until this point, Killshot has not had an issue with Son of Havoc. Like, like, he should have an issue with Daria. Uh, Mm -hmm. Excuse me, with um, Antonio. Antonio. He should have an issue with Papa Cueto because Papa Cueto was the one that said, the next person is going to be your partner. That wasn't something that Son of Havoc. No, but he's there to take it out on. You know, I think that's more where we're coming yeah, from for this. I know. I think it's. I, I think it's just weird because at any time, like, there's been some kind of unique twist or something like that, people have always come back at. Either, either when Dario did it or when Antonio does it, like people would be like, "Hey, what are you doing?" But instead, it's just like, I don't know. And plus, I I like Killshot too much, and he seems kind of like a stupid character right now. Mm-hmm. Like, he wanted the trio's championship, yet he purposefully threw it away. Killshot versus uh, Son of Ka- Son of Havoc, mask versus mask. Oh, I could see it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I could see that. I didn't even think of that. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's a really good point. I could see that. I could absolutely see that. Yeah. And plus, he's he's stepping up and going for that. And um and and uh, Havoc hasn't, you know, he's a guy that you know they keep saying you know has always gone for the gold, never really made it. You know, so yeah. maybe they position him as that versus. Coach. Oh yeah, son of Havoc. You know, no this thing tonight sure. could have been the kill shot saying I'm going to be better than you. Cause you could never pull this off. 
or at least like, a, or at least attempting to. I can see Son of Havoc beating Azteca for mm-hmm. the belt now. Mm-hmm. And then maybe and then maybe we get like uh mass versus mass with the gift of the gods tile on the line. There you go. There you go. And it all comes together to a button. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, this it's a minor bad because the matches were still really fun. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like kill Sh- like Shane Strickland is an amazing athlete. Right. The shit he does in the ring, I don't even know how he does it. It's ridiculous. But I don't know, it just felt a little it felt like this was two weeks worth of things done all at once. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it's the same problem I have, Luch. I want more of everything every week, and it felt like we were just getting the kill show. Which is what makes us so great. Oh, absolutely. Just makes it, we just filmed something with, um, you, you may have seen some stuff on our social media. There's something coming up around a certain old promotion uh, with ECW, and, and, and they talked about how you it, it left you wanting more every week. You had that hour every week, right? And mm-hmm. that's where Lucha is, and that's why we, we're so rapidly after it. We're not being overexposed to a product, right? I, NXT can be the same thing, right? NXT is the same thing. NXT is so good. It's very good, and I'd and I'd argue two hundred five is not as compelling. Not as uh, compelling. No, 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 not as compelling. It doesn't. Le- it, it doesn't do a thing that makes you leave. What's going to happen next? Like, but it's still like it, when I get to Tuesday, when I want to see those performers again. No, no, because you get to, that is a. I get to Tuesday. I'm like, ooh, two hundred five live. You know, like it, literally, like after I'm done with everything here on Tuesday night, like, and I go to edit the show. The first thing I do is queue up two hundred five live, and it's like, ooh, two hundred five live, cool. You know, like, like that's like it's a pleasant thing. We're like, oh, no, I gotta watch. I gotta, I gotta see what's happening with SmackDown. You know, it, it, it's, it's been pretty good with something like that. So looking forward to it. All right. What's next? All right. Uh, so Sorg, last thing we have, um, if you had a combio this week, hmm. what would be? The bat hanging from the hat. By the way, by the way, two instances of bats this week in professional wrestling. Mm-hmm. One uh, had it out for Ronda Rousey on Raw, and then this one, um, the, the Mac had it on his hat. Yeah, yeah. Bat Mac. Bat back to back bats. Mac the bat. Bat. Mac. Uh, back, Ooh. No 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 no. Bat Mac. No 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 no. Exactly. That's what we were going for. Okay. Um. So so what would your cameo be? <laughs> So you're, you're not letting me. Oh, yeah. You're not letting me have the bat, huh? No, no. Because what, what were you changing about that? That you want a bat, or like a real bat, to fly out? No, of that? no, no, no. You're right. You're right. Um, combi, combi. Oh, there was one part. Oh, what was I? Well, there was something about the brawl. Um, the cage and Pentagon brawl. <laughs> oh, what happened? Something happened. I don't know if they chanted something. What, I what, thought what, it was what, interesting that what, the crowd for don't die. What's, yeah, I was gonna say the crowd chanted the the crowd that says sac that chanted sacrifice, <laughs> chanted please don't die, but that is a character um arc with the crowd that I have a problem with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, I I get it. They're they're fickle. They are fickle. They are fickle. I mean, the sacrifice. See, please don't die. That would technically constitute an accidental death. Sacrifice is purposeful. That's just the that's just the ending of the match. I don't know. He was trying to suplex him <laughs> off a platform. This is true. Yes. And just think, that was only the brawl before the match. Yes, yes. <laughs> but also, do? also, I like we finally have an idea of the space inside mm-hmm. there. Like yeah, very there, literally. There's so much room for activities. So Even if you <laughs> Even even the the uh, the 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 scissor lift that um, wasn't entirely covered. <laughs> oh, I I was scared they were going to climb to the top of that scissor lift. Yeah, no, those things are like I remember seeing the one in the studio in the old studio when they were moving the lights around. Like you saw the thing shaking a bit, so it was really mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm, I'm uh, making this motion as a guy was like staring me down, walking past the window too. <laughs> motion which is also great for our audio list mm-hmm. i'm kind of like the, the the shaking motion of a of a scissor lift yeah yes i use my hands again uh, me, me combio i think it's gonna be i 
I don't know if I like the um, Reptile Tribe with the titles. I don't know if I would necessarily change it to make them not get the belts. You know what? I don't mind because now it's like, you know, Sammy's there. Sammy. Or not Sammy. Um, what the hell's his name now? Jeremiah's there. <laughs> Jeremiah Snake. I can't keep I can't keep up with what he's being called these days. Uh yeah, Jeremiah Snake is there. Um the the the, the king guy, I never remember his name. Daga. Yeah. Daga. I mean I I don't mind it doesn't seem like uh uh snake oddities. Um it's still kind of a late for me because I don't know anything about that. Mm-hmm. Like I know her motivations. I know what she's after. Jeremiah, I think I even get that. Like he was resurrected from, you know, through way of the grave. I get all that stuff. You don't even wow. have a cool mask. Come on, man. I was a blank. Like he doesn't even carry the sword to the ring. Mm-mm. Like, um, I did like how well Jeremiah and Cobra Moon worked together. Mm-hmm. They had a lot of really cool double teams, which I appreciated. Um, but now the. There are really no trios. No, no, no. That, no. I, think, I think that's what bothers me the most because there but, are no. But trios come and go and come together and 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 everything like like trios. Yeah. I want to say like seventy five percent of the time have have been very makeshift teams. Okay, sword. Let's do this right now. I'm, I'm springing okay. this. On. I apologize. Make a trio. Make a trio. The trio from the current roster of Lucha Underground. Okay, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. I got um. Da, 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 da. Give me, give me, give okay. me. Paul London, Jack Savage, and and Jake Savage. Jake Savage. I, sorry, I was trying to. Make, I, I, I I wanted to say Swagger really bad. And and. I'm thinking who's not entirely doing something right now. Uh, maybe if Mr. Spectacular wasn't, wasn't sacrificed. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Now nah, throw Eva Lee's in there. Huh? Okay. Give her another right. shot at it since she got screwed over in the first season with this. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm with you on that. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I'll go with, uh, Joey Ryan, um, King Cuerno, and Exolicious. Ooh, ooh! Who was who was it that was um, obsessing over Exolicious backstage? Um, that would be Jack Evans. Jack Evans was yeah, it? Jack I, Evans? Almost, I almost, I almost, yeah. Jack Evans was angry about exolicious no i'll give you a better better trios give me exolicious evans and uh uh joey ryan no no because because joey ryan uh 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 uh, jack evans is part of worldwide underground yeah that's the reason i didn't throw him in yeah but he's kind of the the reason i didn't throw him in there because i thought of it and i'm like no he's outside member he's been barely part of it this season that's because he doesn't like snakes (laughs) He'll be back for the wedding. That's what's important. Right? Yeah, exactly. He's he's gonna be back now. He's like, oh, thank God, we got rid of those snakes. <laughs> Just in time for the bachelor party. Oh, oh my God, Sorg, are we gonna get a lucha bachelor party? I hope so. <laughs> oh, we're gonna burn down Slam Town, Sorg. Oh no, we're gonna burn down Slam Town. Oh man, Sorg, I think I think we pretty much hit on everything this week. I think so. God, I, I I love this show. I can't wait. So we're we're getting a haunted house match next week. <laughs> yes. We don't have we don't have to wait like the damn uh House of Horrors match. We don't have to wait like a month for that. Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Like, do you think the Mac is just gonna go full on Shaggy from Scooby Doo and he's gonna say, uh ghost? Well, now that that idea is in my head. Thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> actually, I think that's a Matt Stryker line, to be to be honest. Now, do you think this haunted house match is like in the temple? Do you think it's like part of the temple, or do you think it's like completely like an off-site thing? I feel like it has to be an off-site thing. Like I I don't know. We have these preconceived notions of the haunted house match that did happen, right? 
Uh huh. So it could just be a match inside the temple with all spooky things. Yeah, yeah. It very well could be. Like, cause well, maybe it'll be like that. Um, um, uh, what was the what was the old Raven House of Horrors match or something where it was just Clockwork's, what's Clockwork that Orange House of Fun match? Maybe that's it. Where it was just like one side of a cage, like on mm-hmm. one side of the ring, and they just put implements on it. Yeah, that was TNA, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that was early TNA. Yeah. Um, I mean, it could be that. I I think it'd be cool. Like maybe if. It's in the arena, but every, but instead of house lights, everything is black lights. So you see like glowing oh, objects. It's gonna be horrible to shoot. And you can do, you can do ghosts and stuff. Oh, like, oh, jeez. Uh, we may, I, we I, we didn't come back around to it, sir, because I think we hit all, all of our points here. Um, Aerostar and Drago, best buddies. Uh, best flying buddies. Best flying buddies. Yeah. Um. Wow. I, it's such cool storytelling. Like, like Drago, like Aerostar wants to be the best bro. He's like, listen, that wasn't you, man. That was Cobra Moon. And Drago's like, I don't remember what I did, but I know I don't earn. I don't. I know I don't deserve your friendship. I'm like, oh my god. Like, like I was feeling for a guy in a dragon mask that. Sometimes has an occasional weird gummy tongue that he comes out to the ring with. <laughs> like that, that's good storytelling right there. Mm-hmm. And the best thing is after he flies off, he's like, I don't think we'll ever see each other. And Arrow starts like, we will. <laughs> because he's a goddamn time traveler. He knows the future. He's the alpha and the omega. He knows what's going on. Oh uh, man! I, I, ongoingly, Lucha Underground is my favorite Spanish soap opera. I mean, obviously, yes. We're gonna get a wedding. We're gonna get a haunted house. It's got everything, Stork. Ah, uh, I I can't wait for that haunted house. All right, uh, Stork. That's it for Lucha. Um, yes, Alex. We we mentioned that we had a father with us today. <laughs> And he's 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 amazing. Uh it must have been that cold, maybe. Uh, <laughs> all right, Sorg, where can the good people on the internet find you? Sorgatron on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com for all the great podcasts on our network, including the uh, newly added Occupy Pro Wrestling is a part of the group now. Thank you so much, Alex, for joining us. And uh and also that I did have the question about make your trios team over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, so um, please uh, drop in there. I want to hear your answers as well. Uh, I love to hear what just just a a build a group, um, a build a trios team. Uh, and we have a lot coming on uh, up in this next week, and we'll have to talk about this, Mike, because we're going to be doing this next Thursday. We're going to do live on Twitch the Brohema Super Smash Brothers Invitational, and we have several friends of the show. If you do follow Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, wrestlers from around the area, the Brohemoth, of course, is presiding. As well as we played a good uh, batch of uh, Fortnite a couple months ago with him. But also we'll have Honey Badger as part of that. As well as some other guys. Uh, Remy LeVay is a friend of the show. Uh, Thomas Mathis. uh, Timothy Titan. And Zach Hunter representing Black Diamond, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, International Wrestling Cartel, and Rise Wrestling uh, locally here. So it's going to be a pretty cool. And KSWA technically as well, I should mention. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that, and that's going to be going down a week from this recording, Thursday, uh, the 23rd of August. Also, please check out IndieWrestling.us. Again, if you're on social media, uh, there we've been uh, kind of teasing a little bit of a project that's going to come out as part of a new offering over there. But in the meantime, there, there was a great show this past week, Cage Fury 2018 with uh, IWC. Uh, included, it, dude, I mean... It included fire, it included skewers, it included tasers, and, and then there were cage matches. You know, this is, uh, if you like violence, and if you listen to this, you probably like the violence of Lucha Underground, then please, um, you know, please uh, uh, check it out. Support indie wrestling. You can rent, you can own, however you would like to over there uh, with all the indie wrestling. A lot of stuff added as well from old IWC, too. Excellent, excellent. And um, I am Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitter machine, of course. And uh, next Wednesday, 
Oh man, at some point I'm gonna live tweet the hell out of that haunted house match. Mm-hmm. Can't wait for Sorg. that. Sorry, we're gonna see two last man standing matches this week. Takeover and Lucha. Oh geez. Uh-huh. And they're both gonna be real good. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mike, right. Hit him up, Mad Mike4883. Thank you so much. And until next time, we'll see you on the Mayhem Underground, otherwise known as, or formerly known as, The Mid Week War! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.